So you got your brand new Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbon, and you're having a little bit of difficulty getting stuff off the build surface. Well, today's video is gonna show you how to do it super simple, and I'm gonna show you what tool to print straight off the machine to make this job a breeze. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. So like I said, you got yourself a brand new Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbon, and maybe prints are coming off, but maybe the skirts or wraps or some of the stuff on the outside of the bed isn't coming off very easily, and you're sick of diggling and you're sick of digging it with your nails. Well, today I'm going to show you this super simple way that Bamboo Lab came up with to get this done. And it is in the form of this scraper right here. So this is a file that comes right on the printer. All you have to do is go to the internal prints, find the scraper file and print it. Takes roughly an hour, 20 minutes, right around there to print everything you need. And once you get that done, you go to your little package, you grab this right here, it's labeled scraper. It has a razor in it, that's what you see right here. Be careful, it's very sharp. It has two little screws. It also has some magnets in there. Yeah, magnets, oh! With some adhesive so you can stick it somewhere and put it right on the side of your printer or wherever you feel like. But the cool thing is when you're ready to use this, you just pop it out of the little cover, make sure you keep it in there, like I said, it's sharp, and you just guide it along the build surface and it pulls your prints right up for you. It is super simple to do, it's super simple to build, and Bamboo Lab already thought of it for you so you don't have to buy anything. So as you, you might be able to tell from these pile of parts that I'm building an airplane, and it is like single wall. It is super tricky to get it off the bed. And if you're not careful, it can pull some bottom layers off. So that's where this thing really comes in handy. Something I need to talk about is the glue stick that came with the printer. Now, a lot of people are gonna use this. You wanna use this as an interface layer so stuff releases from your build surface. Make sure you clean this build surface good before you use it the first time. Always clean your build surface. Take your glue stick and then just run one line across the whole thing all the way down so it's covered, but only one layer, you don't wanna to get too thick. Make sure that you are doing the bottom here where your pattern prints, and also in the back of the build surface up here, make sure you get that corner here, because this is where it's gonna purge every single time. And if you don't do it there, it's gonna be harder and harder to peel up. So make sure you get that covered in your glue stick, in my case, I really prefer the nanopolymer adhesive. It doesn't leave a residue and it can work with everything. Uh, it is much more expensive though, so use the glue stick. Purple glue stick works really good for this stuff too, but burn out the one that comes free first. So I pretty much use this tool to get everything off the build surface. All you gotta do is run it like this, and then once you get these loose, just pull, or you can run it all the way across, if I can get a hold of them. And then a lot of times all this stuff will just pull off just like that. When you get to the edge of the purge line, just run it right along there. It comes right off. And then if you might have to do with that side too. But it peels right up like that. Then when you get to some of these brims, same thing. It just floats right underneath them and peels them right up. Then you can grab and pull mostly. This one's being a little bit stubborn, but that's why I have it. And that just pulls right up. Boom, just like that. So this thing is really a really cool tool. I would definitely suggest getting this printed. When you do get it printed, it goes on like this blade in the top, two screws down through the bottom, and the screws screw into the back of this. So it's pretty simple. So you just saw how easy it was to use the Bamboo Lab scraper on the build surface. I highly suggest you guys print this maybe even the second print you do. Do the Benchy first, because it's amazing to see that thing. But this thing really hauls too, because it's kind of a good size. But also, like I said, don't forget your glue stick or whatever media between the surface and your print. I have seen people already ripping their print surfaces off because they don't use that media and you don't want to be one of those, because then you'll just be replacing it and having to buy more. I know two come with it, but Let's, let's save those for another use. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video about the Bamboo Lab Scraper. If you want to see more videos with the Bamboo Lab X1 or X1 Carbon, check out this one right here.